In exercise 10.2, we want to find what y is resulting from this code. We're using a while loop to loop through certain values. So we initialize var as this. So var is an array. This would be the first element of var, which will be var of 1. This is the second element of var, which is var of 2. The third element of var is 5. Fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. The eighth element of var is 8. X is just a scalar, and index is initialized to 1. Now in the while loop, we're going to keep doing these statements as long as x is greater than 0. So once x equals 0, or if it becomes less than 0, we terminate this loop and continue on with whatever is below this. As with for loops, let's create a table to keep track of our values. We're going to need to know what x is. We're going to need to know what index is. We're going to need to keep track of x plus 2, var of x plus 2, and of course we want to keep track of y because that's what we want to find. So a reasonable approximation to a table is this. Before we enter the loop, x is equal to 3 and index is set to 1. So that's before the first time we try this loop. We check to see if x is greater than 0. 3 is greater than 0, so we enter this loop and start doing these statements. Now inside this statement, we need to keep track of index, which is 1, x, which is still 3, it hasn't been changed yet, var of x plus 2, x plus 2 is going to be equal to 5, so var of 5, this is the first, second, third, fourth, fifth element of var, so var of 5 has the value of 6, and y of index becomes just that value, so this is 6. So after we calculate y, we recalculate index. Index is equal to index plus 2, so 1 plus 2 is 3 next time around. And x is x minus 1, so the old value of x, which is 3 minus 1, is just 2. We encounter the in statement. We go up to the while statement and recheck this value. So we need to find out if x is greater than 0. 2 is greater than 0, so we're going to enter this while statement and do this stuff again. So var of x plus 2, x is 2, so this would be x plus 2 is 4. We want to find var of 4, which is going to be 0. So y of index is equal to that value, which is just 0. After that, index is equal to index plus 2, so this becomes 5. And x is equal to x minus 1. The old value of x is 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. We encounter the end statement. We check to see if x is greater than 0. 1 is greater than 0, so we'll do this set of calculations again. x plus 2 is going to be 1 plus 2, which is 3. So when this is 3, the third element of var is 5 and that value is just assigned to y of index. So now index is equal to index plus 2. 5 plus 2 is 7. x is equal to x minus 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. We hit the end statement. We go up. We check the while loop. Is x greater than 0? No, 0 is not greater than itself, so we terminate the while loop and continue with the next thing we want to do. And then we set y of 2 is equal to negative 6. Now in this case, we're creating an array. We've identified an array subscript index, and we're creating elements that are associated with index. So when we get out of this, we're going to have an array y. The first index has the value 6. Then we don't define anything until the third index. That means that the second element of y hasn't been defined. So to create the third element, the third element is 0. But if we have any unspecified elements, MATLAB fills in a 0. Then the fifth element is going to be over here. That becomes a 5. The fourth element isn't defined. That will also be defined as a 0. That is what y is at the end of the loop. Then after that, y of 2 is set to be equal to negative 6. So when all is said and done, y is equal to 6, negative 6, 0, 0, and 5. And that is our final value.